Welcome to Mogul State of Mind. This is a special episode. Special guest host, Terry Blue, Dallas Globe. Shout out to uh, Suge Diddy. First of all, for the people who don't know what's going on, bro, go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, man. My name is K to the B to the Z to the O, K Bezo. Yeah. Uh, you know, Nation, Thug Boss Nation, Young Nation. Yeah. And, you know, we, you know, we, we came with a swag that, you know, everybody... Grab a piece of, man. You know, it's just time for the world to go and give us our flower. Nah, for sure, for sure, bro. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Like, my introduction to Texas music was K Bezo. Like, my introduction, I'm from New Orleans. Like, when I first moved here, uh, like, y'all wave was was taking over the DFW. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't understand it at first. I'm like, what? The, like, I it was something new to me. You know what I'm saying? From the haircuts to the dancing. To the whole thing, so like, tell us where where Thug Boss Nation started. Like, what what was that? What was that journey? Oh man. Okay, so one day we one day I'm in the backyard, right, and it's me, one of my step brothers, Shadamian, and it was somebody else. I can't remember what it was, but all of a sudden I just you know we talking or whatever, whatnot. You know, you know how you, when you like 15, 16 years old. You get to talking about like the first tattoo you want, what you gonna get, what, 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 what. Yeah. So I said, you know, I'm gonna get my first tattoo gonna be Thug Boss. And from there I ran. So what, like, why Thug Boss? Like, what does that mean? Where, where, where they even come from? Okay, Thug Boss, see what I say. Thug Boss is really, you know, Thug Boss stands for a true hero under God based on solemnly swagger. God, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's D. Oh, it's D. So, so it's D. You said so the swag, the whole swagger. That's K Bezo. Swagger, I, swagger was came from our bro, Fully Deezy. Okay, you know we killed him with swag. Right, we killed him with swag, man. I'm talking about we killed him with swag. <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all definitely made LRG. LRG should have sponsored y'all back then. Ooh, LRG, Nike. It ain't too late. For yeah. Don't inspire me now. Not not Cool G on my body, what you mean, Ed Hardy? Oh my God. Like work like, bro, like tell us, come on, bro. Like you ain't really you say, okay, wait, we go we gonna bring it back. Oh my god. You said you was in the backyard. You you say your first tattoo was gonna be Thug Boss. Thug Boss. My boy C Law went and got it first though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it C Law, he went and got it first. C Law was working. He was our see, you know, he had he had a Hard body ass stepdaddy, you heard me? Yeah. <laughs> George, man, everybody know George. He had a hard body stepdaddy, you know what I'm saying? So he pushing, he pushing, you know what I'm saying, his uh, stepsons to work. Yeah. So c -Lop had a job. So c -Lop went and got the thug boss tatted on him first. He did. c -Lop was the first person who had thug boss tatted on him. Damn, so when, when y'all do the first song, what was the first song that, that, that started Thug Boss Nation? Okay, I ain't gonna lie, because cause we go back to TYS. A lot of people don't know, we... We had a group called TYS, Texas Young Stars. Okay. Me, Buns, DH, One, and who else was it? Head hey, asked me. Mom. Me, Buns, H. It was me, Buns, H, and uh. Buns. That's me, Buns, H, and uh, what you call? Uh, One. That's it. It was four of us. Hold on, what's up? Trying to stay, because that mic up there above me. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was me, Buns, Dunny, and Juan. Okay. We had a group called Texas Young Stars, which was put together by Nate Quick. DJ RIP, Nate Quick? RIP Nate Quick. Damn. RIP Nate Quick. Okay. We uh we did, we got involved with Nate Quick. You know, we was doing a lot of different things, songs, shows in the city, all that. Woo -woo -woo. You know, RIP Nate Quick, I fuck with him, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, word came out. That he took all of our work that we recorded and went to Atlanta and sold it. Mm. And yeah, so Star Studded, we was finna go ahead and drop an uh, album called Star Studded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, I know everybody remember the cover. It was all of us on there with red red beaters on. You know what I'm saying? I'm braided and suede. Yes, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> nah, for real. It was like, I never forget it. Star Studded. I never forget it. Damn, so, okay, so y'all separate, rest in peace, DJ Nate Quick. Y'all oh, separate. Nate Quick. When does the the boogie the dance when when does Thug Boss Nations get to drop in the songs we all know and love? Okay, so excuse me. 
Okay, so after that, they quick got me. Uh, they quick did a lot of things for us, though. I give him that. He did, especially in Dallas. He did a lot of things for us. Okay. Uh, for instance, he put together that Meet Me Outside. I don't know if y'all familiar with Meet Me yeah, Outside. Meet Me Outside. Meet yeah. Me okay. Outside. You know what I mean? AD and uh, J. Steve. You know, they shout out to AD and J. Steve. You know what I'm saying? So he put that together. You know what I mean? And from there. No, after that, pretty much, uh, Nate Quick passed away after that. Meet me outside, pretty much. He was, he was gone. Damn. So after that, you know, you know, I'm just, you know, that's where I go off and I start doing my own thing. And oh yeah, with a chicken wine, man. So wait, where you? What? Give me the timeline on that, cause I, I'm kind of confused. Like, is this is this after like the the uh. My Dougie, the the not my Dougie, my okay, fault. yeah, Dougie Blast, Dougie Blast, yeah, okay, uh, well, no, 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 okay, that's what I say. So is this after Boogie through the door? So Nate quit passed away. Okay, you know. So now I'm like, man, I gotta come on with it now. I done learned a lot. You feel me? I see the ropes, whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. See, I'm gonna admit, when in the TYS, when they, in that group, it wasn't nobody that was a main like a main thing. Everybody played their role. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't somebody, it wasn't nobody that, like, okay, he the man, you know? We all came together and everybody played their role. So yeah. they quick passed away. And so our group kind of, it, it faded away, you know? Yeah. So now I'm a, I'm, a, I'm left with, I'm seeing like ODT. I'm seeing like Nino on Hot Boy Star them, all this going on, you know? Yeah. I'm in the mix now though, you know what I'm saying? And then Lil Will come with. My Dougie. My Dougie. Damn. But I ain't gonna lie. So, so, so the wheel did it. His part did it. But you know who really did it? You know what really did it? When Soldier Boy hopped on that bitch. Yeah. I had to go and do it then. That was like 2019. That was like eight. That was like eight. That's like nine. No, I'm telling you, eight. I was, I was in fifth. It was eight or nine. You're right. It was eight, was it was eight or nine. Right, sir. <laughs> right yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, so Lil Will really popped off the boogie movement in Dallas with my Dougie. He did with my Dougie. Okay. But I looked at it like, I, I was like, damn, this is my chance. Yeah. I was like, this is my chance right here to go and dive in the mix. Okay. So it's so awkward that I chose the Gucci Man beat, Dougie Blast. Yeah. It's so awkward. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like I said, my bro right here, Blast, see, they they they, they went to see the high school with Run. See, they, they, see, I'm like three or four years older than all those guys. Yeah. So they was already together. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Run and Blast and Foodie D's, y'all them C Smooth, C Crumb, Profit. Uh, <laughs> for real. Crumb, our G Squad Nation. All those guys. You know what I'm saying? They, it's crazy how it happened. It is, but they had, they had what they had going. And it just, you know what I'm saying? It just, it just acknowledged, it acknowledged what I had going. Yeah. And like I said, run, they, they, they was all in the same grade or whatever, whatnot. Right. So uh, I still, like, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell they run find me. But it was through T-Loft. It was through T-Loft and C-Loft. I'm going to tell you it was through. It was through T-Loft and C-Loft. That's who did it. Yeah. Because he knew he knew T-Loft and C-Loft. They from Alabama originally. Yeah. But they moved to Dallas. And, you know, the rest is history. Thug by Nice and grabbed them, man. The rest is history. All right, so was it like initially like a dancing group or was y'all was it was y'all rapping? Was it or rapping dancing? Like what was it like? You know what? I wouldn't, you know, uh it was I read I caught it all around. It wasn't nothing we couldn't do. It's like whatever you want, you know, that's how I always been with the music, it's like like it's I never been one sided. Like I'm gonna be able to do everything. I'm gonna do everything. Like I'm never, I've never been one sided. Like yeah. whatever type of song you want, I will give it to you. Yeah, nah, bro. Like I said, bro. Like when I first moved here, like that was the wave. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Niggas was dancing. When you move, when you move back here, when you move. Uh, back? Shit, I was in middle school, bro. Like so, it's after Katrina. Katrina was 05. I don't mean to cut you out, but did you see that Dallas Global? Yeah. You, you see? Oh, you dropped it. Yeah, well, yeah. You, that, that girl, what's that? She, I don't, the little girl on there dancing the boogie to the door. Yeah. She's 21 years old now. Yeah. She was like. Nine out of ten, she on the dance in the boogie to the door, and then killing it, bro. Killing it. Hey, that that post reached twenty thousand people. Man, it's, like, it's still going. That post reached twenty thousand. It's people. still going right now. So, so, bro, like, hey, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna cut you off again. Go ahead. You see the one fame leaked on Facebook? 
Nah, I ain't see it. If I ain't bleaked one on Facebook, that motherfucker got like 15K right now, two days. Damn. Okay. Boogie back. <laughs> boogie back. <laughs> nah, nah, we gonna bro, boogie back on that. Nah, nah, bro, like. I'll take a sip to that. Like the 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 all right, so the Dougie Blast, bro. Like when you dropped that, like I ain't gonna lie, I was in I, I was middle school, high school at the time. I was oh going my to Bowie. God, why he do that? I was going I was going to Bowie, bro. Like everybody was dancing to that shit though. Like every, after school, niggas was couldn't wait to hit the parking lot and dance to y'all music. Why did y'all oh never do? God. Why did y'all never do music videos? You know what? Right around that time, music videos weren't popping then. They wasn't really popping in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we was just we would just drop a song on that motherfucker and that bitch gonna do a hundred, two hundred K. Yeah. Go look at it right now. Nah, that's a fact. Like y'all songs was all over MySpace. Like no people videos. would put their song on the on the page. Like those they when you go, you know, when you go on MySpace, you go to somebody's page. MySpace. Oh my God. Y'all had hella means of means and means of plays. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go look at the play. I wish we could look it up right now. So do you feel like do you feel like y'all dropped the ball when it come down to capitalizing off of y'all movement? I wouldn't say that. We all went through life situations. Yeah. Everybody like so so I, I really want to get back into that time, bro, because like like Thug Boss Nation was Remember I feel like y'all was the founding fa fathers of Young Nation. Like a lot of the world yeah. know Young Fact. Nation, Fact. Fact. but the world don't really know Thug Boss. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was like, y'all open the door for fame and be read and shout out to them, but like y'all that way was first. Hey, them my little bros, I love them to do. When I first met them. They was GMP stars at the stadium. I never forget it. I I never forget it. I I walk in the stadium, right? I walk in the stadium. It's so crazy. I never forget it. It's so crazy. I never forget this night, bro. I walk in the stadium, right? And I heard somebody. I heard I heard somebody say, "Scream, K Bezo." And I look to the left. And I see two people. I'm talking about when I say sitting side by side, like side me twins. I'm talking about shoulder to shoulder. Guess who it is? Fame and be real. Fame and be real. They been, hey, they been on they shit. You hear me? Yeah. I give it to them. They been on they shit. Since young niggas, they been on they shit. And so when I see them, they stuck together side me twins. They say, KB Zo, we want to uh, we want to do music with you, bro. I look at them. I size them. I look at them. I'm like, man, I'm like, you know, but you know, it's the good man above that made me do what I did because it all worked out the right way. You know what I mean? Because like I said, everybody went through a life situation and Fame B. Reed carried the weight. They yeah. carried the weight of the nation while yeah. everybody was going through it. They did. And I was looking for that. So let me ask you this. Do you feel like, and, and you know, we years a, a, ahead. Yes, do you feel like Young Nation left y'all behind? No, sir. Okay, why 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 you why you say that? Because it's all one nation. Mm. At the end of the day, it's all one nation. So when it when it when it just became young nation, like okay, the young nation came about. See, I hear I hear different stories, but I don't know if y'all I know y'all familiar with the name Humpty. Uh, -uh I don't know who that is. Okay, that's B Reed. That's B Reed cousin. That's B Reed cousin, blood cousin. And be and Humpty told you know Humpty he he stated on Facebook that he told everyone he told them not to not to go with the young nation he said stay with the boss nation don't switch it to young nation you know what I mean but he yeah. said we was the young niggas so he said he gave it the approval and they ran with it which was the smartest thing they ever did Damn. I give it to them it was smart yeah. it was smart because I ain't gonna lie having that damn the boss nation that's a lot on us you feel me. Like I ain't gonna lie, they label us as like like it's some gang type shit. Yeah. Because I mean they did, you know. But I mean at the end of the day, we like to have fun, party. Nah, for sure, for club, sure. Now, you now know what I'm saying? when y'all when y'all when y'all came through, like y'all was, I feel like people blame y'all for changing the Dallas sound from like gangster to dance and party, and niggas wasn't really gangster dance party. Knock you out. Fuck on your hoes. <laughs> Call me tomorrow. <laughs> we'll do it all over again. That's what it is. We're gonna dance, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna smoke a lot of weed, we're gonna fuck on a bad bitch, we're gonna get to the bag, and we nation out. So so like what, what did y'all have to fight a lot because of the music y'all was making? It was a lot of fights. How how do you feel like the city received it at that time? Cause like a lot of people be like, 
The but book? I'm going to cut you off real quick. Go I'm going to cut you off. Remember what you're saying, though. But see, me back then, I ain't going to lie. I was so much on my business. When it was like, I ain't going to lie, it was a lot of bras. We'll go to, the, for instance, Club and Arlington. What was it? Club Arlington. Uh, Club G. Club G? No, not Club G. Skating and no. Ranch. The motherfucking me Ranch. Yeah. Mm. Oh, excuse me. I had the bird. <laughs> the range. And I ain't talking about that dressing. I ain't talking about no dressing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> one night, one night at the range at Arlington, a fight went down that was so. Oh, my. Let me take a drink. It was a fight that went down so crazy there. I'm glad I did what I did. They were fighting so hard in the place. I'm surprised. They had a club the next day. I'm surprised it was a club the next day. My bros really tore the building down. They did. Then so what happened? Me, I, like I said, I, I was on my business, so I'm trying to perform and get the bag. I'm trying to get the bag. All of a sudden, I'm talking about a brawl break out. And I see my if, bros, that's why they fighting so hard. If you can recall, bro, like, Fuck. who who you see out there scratching from your side? Timo. What? Bank bros. T-Mon for shit, so uh Ooh, I know T-Mon. T-Mon will fight so hard in that bitch that night. T-Mon, Merc, uh, Fat D. They gonna get that some. Uh <laughs> Fat, they gonna get that some. Uh, who else was there that night? It was something else there that night, man. Then uh, Thug Box Nation. Yeah. <laughs> Thug Box Nation. Yeah. I had to play it cool. I said, I wanted the bag. I wanted the bag at the end of the night. My bros wanted to bust a nigga head. Damn. It is what it is. Now, now the culture has shifted, bro. Like, it's no longer you can go somewhere, it's just going to be a fight, and it's over with. Like, when I posted, when I made that post, when I posted you on Dallas Global, a lot of people was like, bring the boogie back because that's Man. when we can have fun, fight, I and go home. For that. I salute you for that. We got, hey, and I'm going to say this. We got so much positive over negative. Right. I see more positive comments than negative comments. So guess what? Boogie is back. What you think? How you feel about Dallas not really supporting the Boogie culture? Because we don't hear a lot of those songs played in the club today. We never hear that music played in the club today. You're right. I can't recall. Like on the radio today? Not even just the radio. I'm saying like in the club. Like if we go to a club in Dallas, they not playing... A boogie through the door. I've ne- I don't feel like I, I ain't heard that in the club for a long time. Bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Every, yeah. every, every once in a while. Definitely yeah. when every I walk. Though. Definitely when I walk up to the DJ booth. When I walk up to the DJ booth and let them know I'm in the building, ain't no telling what can happen. Ain't no telling what can happen. Yeah. Especially lately. I've been going up to the DJ booth. Hey. Nation. Bezo. Yeah. We in the building. Nah, for sure. For sure now. Run done. Everybody, we in the building. Boo Boo Blair. Everybody, we in the building. Full of DZ, Run Done, Fame, we in the building. For sure. And they go, you know, I just listen to see if they're going to drop it. Yeah. If they don't, I don't care. Because guess what? I know I got I got something at the house or in one of the engineers. Boy, I got hits for days. <laughs> I got hits for days. That mama called me here committed now. Bro, now, so off camera, I asked you where the head ass come from. Like, oh, what, what? hey, I'm going to be real with you. That's going to be my first chain. That's gonna be my first chain. Hear that? That's how serious that is. <laughs> hey, Solo, shout out the funny mic too. Shout out the funny mic. He took over. Shout out the funny mic, cause he, he had head ass a game on his shit for so long. On the YouTube channel. And I ain't gonna lie, at first I didn't think funny mic was funny, but the beat is so funny. <laughs> the beat is so funny. <laughs> when I see him, I might slap the hoe. He's so funny. <laughs> He's so funny. I swear to God, shout out the funny mic. You funny in the beat. Especially when he did the he did the skits when his grandma was in the car. Oh my god, he had his granny in the car, right? You seen that? But he had his granny in the car for he the skits he do with his granny. That's out of this. That's out of control. That's out of control, my brother. I swear, for God. Hey, like the, hey, like the young dude right say now. Oh God. <laughs> hey, so let me ask you this, bro. Like, like I'm, I'm sitting here listening to you talk. Like, yes, sir. A lot of lingo. Oh my God. I feel like a lot of lingo in Dallas. 
Man, hold on. I'm, I'm, let, you remember what you just said? Look, I'm, a, I'm a king of the lingo, but go ahead. <laughs> king lingo. Where, so a lot of the let me let me let me ask you this: a lot of the nation talk like where where did it come from? Like where, who are the originators of certain words? Like ah, you gonna make me stand up at my seat, man? Yeah, talk to him. Okay, listen. Uh, like I say, I'm King Lingo. Yeah. So it's terrific. If she bad, I might mingo. That's me. But anyway, <laughs> I love all these hoe ass niggas in here. These beats have been around for years. I love them to deal. Can't fuck with them. But anyways, lingo, that lingo word, man, I swear we need our own nation. We need, we need our own nation dictionary. Mm. We need our own nation lingo dictionary. Okay, the lingo come from, I came with a lot of lingo. But my bros, they so done with it, they help, help add with the lingo, man. And I can't take nothing away from them. Yes. So it's, so it's, it's, like, it's safe to say that's like nation talk. Nation lingo. Okay. If she bad, she get dingo. <laughs> Straight up. Okay, for sure, for sure. Straight up. Now, bro, like, all right. So, when what 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 was really like? Well, you stupid. What was the end of the Thug Boss Nation? Like the height? Like not saying yeah, you know, you still making music, but as the height of y'all was, y'all was going crazy. We heard y'all. I got to keep what I'm saying on this one. Uh, I got to turn the uh. I feel like after violence. the. What what what's I think was Aloha? That's your song. That was Fame B. Reed. That's Fame B. Reed. Oh, I, I had a verse on I it. So I had a verse on it. Guess I what? I, I did have a verse on it. I robot. It never got to the streets. That's song. But if it did, we might be somewhere in another country somewhere or something. <laughs> huh? Because I destroyed that motherfucker. Yeah. I made sure. So see, like it's like like it's certain songs like that, like uh, like a uh, robot and uh like it's certain songs that I. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I go off the top. I freestyle. I don't write. But it's certain songs I did write to. So I know what I did to the motherfucker. I know what I did. I know I took her business. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. We still here. Nah, for sure. So, like, what was, like, at, what, would, what would you say was the decline of Thug Boss Nation? We all had, it was all two thuggers versus bomb. Life. Life. Signing 360 deals. I signed a 360. Who you signed to? You know what a 360? Turn yeah. around. 360. Five. I signed a 360. Top five out on nine TNT. It was a lack of business. Teflon and T Real. Doodle boo. Hey! <laughs> Them boy. Damn. They was up, you know, top five out on nine. They was up to scale them, right? Yeah. So they reared me in. <laughs> they reared me in like an old fish. You know how you throw all fish line out there? You want you a big catfish? They reared me in. Guess how they reared me in? They told me that the skating soldier boy came through that motherfucker and took off. Yeah. You think I ain't gonna fall for that? I'm 21 years old, 22. Fresh 2006, 7, 8, yeah. I'm way behind the ears. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You didn't read the contract, right? Man, the contract's so fat, man. <laughs> nah, nigga didn't read that out. Listen, bro. The contract was so fat. Big Rick Roswell had to read that bitch front and back. Rick Ross would have read that bitch front and back. Ten times, Jack. The contract was so fat, I could they finessed me. They signed me to two, they signed me to two labels at one time. So you signed the top five. And I don't know. Oh, they did the fool. Yeah. I so them though. What was I that? them though, cause. They helped me get my name out there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I salute them, because guess what? If it wasn't for them, they wouldn't know me in Oklahoma right now. Facts. Yeah. I got my Steve Rick along too, don't <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so look, let me ask you this, bro. Because the stadium was popping. Ooh, the stadium I'm, was I, the place I'm to be in Arlington. Because I love you. It's the stadium. Stadium, yeah. You are right. Yes, the skating, The stadium was popping, bro. Like, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely turned <laughs> Soldier Boy up. I think Boosie and Webby went to the stadium. Who I took a picture with Boosie Boo? He's shorter than Muggsy Bobes doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I fuck with Boots Boo. This nigga crazy. Boots Boo, I fuck with Boots Boo. Listen, I made Boots Boo four more threes than he did. Huh? I made RIP more threesy. 
I made Mo Threezy. Hear yeah, that? Yeah, I never made Mo Threezy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a good time. I made Boosie Boo before Mo Threezy did. Okay, we had a show on the skating. They brought Boosie. I performed with Boosie. Yeah. Bro, do you know how I feel to be standing side by side with Boosie Fat Moski? Huh? I'm taller than Boosie. I'm tired of the boozy. But guess what? <laughs> he was skinny then, right? And he ain't been down. He like, he was skinny and he he was sipping that serve like a motherfucker though. You hear me? Yeah. He was sipping that serve. He was sipping that serve. He was skinny. He had he had the uh he had a, he 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 was popping. So you know, of course, that's why they brought him to him. He was popping like a motherfucker, but that's right time the with Zoom. That's like Zoom. It was before, right before he went to the pen. Yeah, damn. Yeah, I, I ran to boost. Is that uh, I like bad bitches. Yes, sir. He know who Kay, he know who Kay Bezo is. Yeah, damn. Yes, sir. He know who the nation is. Y'all, y'all boys was like superstar, but I feel like it wasn't really documented. Like it's no footage. It's like it's no proof unless you know. You I'm know what I'm saying? What? Celine, Dude, I ain't gonna lie to you. I had a lot of, I had a lot of industry labels that were looking in. Oh, uh, uh, we uh, let's talk. Uh, we we kind of got off subject, bro. You say you signed two deals. You were signed a top five, right? But look, I had, I had, uh, I had, uh, I ain't gonna lie, score and go. He was in the pitch, Deuce, DJ Deuce. He was, that's that's how Yellow Beats piped out. Okay, we, he was trying to sign me at one point. Yeah, I ran to him in Houston. He said, "Bezo," he said, "That zombie so motherfucking stupid." He was trying to sign me. The Zumpire song. Zombie. Zombie. Zombie, like Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. My mind don't rewind. Because I'm always on time. <laughs> my young nigga stupid. My young nigga stupid, for real. Be real, my young nigga stupid. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah. So he, he we, I met him in Houston one night. I'm with Rainwater, my three manager. Oh, yeah, it's so deep. It's so deep. You might have to be John Creek. Was was Rain was Rain ever managing you? Me and Rain tried that. You feel me? We did. We tried it. We tried it. Did Rain ever get you some shows? Because a lot of people did. at that time was saying Rain like, showed me a lot. Rainwater showed me a lot. Real nigga shit. Rainwater. I don't give a fuck with nobody. Say him about him. He gonna speak his mind. He gonna have a business. And he gonna tell you what's real. Hey, I don't give a damn if you pop him in his motherfucking mouth. He gonna tell you what's real. I don't give a damn if you chase him out the club. He gonna tell you what's real. <laughs> Nigga, if I'm lying, a banana, I'm going to banana peel. He gonna speak his mind. That's why I respect Ryan Water. Matter of fact, since this shit been popping these last couple of days when, uh, when I did the little, the dances, dancing in the club and shit, yeah. Ryan Water didn't reach out. Yeah. That's how I really didn't got. And he told me, Ryan Water said, be so. This is what you need right now. He said, you need to get in the booth with your boys. With well, your nation, run, y'all need to get in the booth. Do a song. And also he said, uh, he said, Bezo, y'all, uh, he said, if you, if, if you use, you use it, what's, what's going on right now, and you tell your story, you won. You back in the picture. Nah, that's you're real. You back in the mix. That's real. People haven't heard from you, and it's a lot to talk. We still ain't even, bro, we ain't even cracked the surface on. A lot of stuff. I want to go back to the deal, though. Did you get an advance for that deal you signed? Man. Oh, my God. The advance. Man, I was so sick I ain't get no advance. I thought, look, man, I rushed to that shit. I had just had my first son. R.I.P. Keaton Bryant. That's my baby. Matter of fact, this kid's it. July 17th. That's my first mixtape. That's dedicated to my little nigga. Good out I mean, I know he gonna have a bar. What's the name of it again? Let's kiss it. One more time. Let's kiss it. Yes, sir. Let's kiss it. I mean, L, a whole bunch of eyes, a whole bunch of T's, S, K, a whole bunch of other eyes, a whole bunch of T's. You figure out the rest. Let's kiss it. Spell it. But anyways, man, we gonna have a party, man. That's for my son. That's for my latest son. He died when he was three years old. Damn. Fuck me up, you hear me? Sorry, hear that, bro. Yeah, fuck me up, man. My little nigga be. It's crazy because it's like it's like it's hard for me to imagine me sitting right here with a sixteen year old sitting right here with me. Yeah. Oh man, I know. I'm glad. It's kind of 
it's kind of, I hate to say this, but I'm glad he up there with the good man. Because if he was right here with me, I wouldn't have no understanding about him. Like, you couldn't even, you couldn't even look at him wrong type shit. And I'm going to be out of my body. Mm. Facts. Uh, for sure. R.I.P. Ken Bryan. Love you, baby. For sure, for sure. Now, you, you that's your next project that you dropping. You said July. Let's kiss it. July 17th. July 17th. For yes, sure. sir. For sure. Let's kiss it. Okay, now. Hot uh, summer. It's going to be a very hot summer. Okay. Now, bro, do you feel like the boogie movement has a real chance to come back? Hey, man, if I'm involved in it, if KP, KB to the ZO got something to do with it, man. You remember when Kevin Garnett won that championship for the Celtics? Yeah. He screamed out anything possible. Yeah. I'm going to say this. Yeah, yeah. Now, bro, uh, over the years, like, when you, when you kind of fell back from music, you start getting into, like, legal trouble. You know what I'm saying? Legal trouble. I ran into a bad man, my jammer. Ooh, a bad man, my jammer. I ain't going to say her name. She know she is. Like, I ain't going to lie. When we first popped out, I had some real life shit going on. I had just met this beautiful, beautiful girl. And I had to, like, introduce her to a new lifestyle that she wasn't used to at all. You feel me? Yeah. She had just graduated from high school. I'm 21, 22. I'm a dumb diddy fool. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm right, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm right. I'm lying, right? Hey, that not real shit. Like, she had just graduated high school. I'm 21, 22. And I went through some real life shit, man. Like I had a real life relationship going on and everything doing this shit. You hear me? Yeah. Ah oh, man, they try to kill me behind this girl. Huh? Now, now, bro, you she had a, bad. it was a viral mug shot that you had, bro. Oh my god, why he do that? I ain't take my head off of them. Hey, y'all said I had to get my shit tatted in when I was in head in. Dad, so you got, you got, wait, hold on. You got your, your edge up tatted on you. Ah, oh, man, I got my shit tatted in. Oh, yeah. Move back. You can see it. Just move back. Okay, baby. Yeah, I can, hey. <laughs> Don't worry about the head, baby. I gotta see you. Oh, my brother's not me. I know, hey. Bro, so what was going on with the hair like? What, like, what oh, was? Oh, let me take my glasses, too, because we got to talk about this. Man, I went to the pen. That nigga will fire me up about my shit. You hear me? <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, I'm the king of firing a nigga ass up. <laughs> I'm gonna put a nigga ass in the barbecue grill. <laughs> Where my drink at? Oh, we got a show now. Get ready for me. <laughs> hey, if you, hey, if you don't believe this is gonna do a meal, you must have fucked on Wendy Williams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, listen, I go to the pen, right? I got my head on. Oh, I got my bald head showing with a tattoo. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. If your shit bald, you need to get some type of shit on your shit, bro. Bald head on fire. <laughs> Only person that can rock a bald head is Michael fucking Jordan. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't heard Michael Jordan <laughs> and Kobe Bryant. That's it. If you got a bald top on your shit, take top shit in, Jimmy. You gonna get a lot more shimmy. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't heard that ain't gonna fall in a long Fire? ass time. Oh, nation on the call. <laughs> hey, nation on the call. Fall, that shit don't fall. You got some more swagger and lingo. You have to call them more ball. <laughs> Bro, so nigga, I fall that ball. Yo, yo fade right now. Is that is that a fully fade? This is what you call a tether in south side fade with the drop on your shit. Bald head material. Yellow bitch. Ah, oh, she grave. <laughs> she gonna be. She gonna send to the. We gonna send to the graveyard. Cause she gonna get hit. <laughs> Please say no. Shout out to Trap Freddy. Shout out to Yellow Bees. Cause when I was locked up, they gave me a real shout out. You hear me? My sister told me about it. My sister told me about it. I didn't know what was going on. My sister, she write me. She say. Bro, bro, Yellow Beezy and Trevor Freddy out here talking about you right now. They saying some good shit. I say, what they saying, sister? He laughed, right? He laughed. But I say, what they saying, sister? She said, they saying some good stuff. She say, Trevor Freddy said that y'all started the wave that everybody stole in the industry. You know what they're talking about, right? 
Ah, if y'all don't know what they talking about, I'm finna put it out there. They talking about that right there. Everybody in the industry throwing up this right here. Check game. A check. No disrespect, but me and my guys, we put it right on that check. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you see everybody throwing this check up, bro. They try to make it seem like it's something else. Illuminati, gun. N-I-K-E, nation's killing everything, man. I'm not saying Nike owed us nothing, bro, because nobody, you know, we, but we didn't put on so much. Give us a couple hundred mil. <laughs> Give us a couple shoes to show that skill. <laughs> shit, you in Austin, but shit, I seen your part of Nikes, ain't we? Hey, there. <laughs> now, now, hold on, bro. Now, now shit, now. Uh, like you, like I, we were saying, bro. Like I don't feel like this, the, 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 the movement was documented correctly. You know what I'm saying? Like who was working y'all? Who was doing y'all business behind closed doors? Like who was? As far who, as who? As far as who? Just yeah, y'all ain't had no managers or like who was managing y'all? Who was making sure? Hey, you are talking to uh, KB, so the manager. <laughs> hey, nah, nah, but uh, nah, nah, I really never had no manager. You hear me? Hit the, hit the line. If the money right, oh, I might show up on time. I'm going to be there. But if the money right, I might show up on time. But guess what? Make sure you got to have, you gotta have a couple hotel rooms. I mean, I'm sure it's a So what, what was the wildest thing you asked a promoter to have for you at, Ooh. at you know what I'm saying, at the time they booked you? He been to a show. He been to a show. That's a little blast me, though. He just want a bad bitch. Like, no, he asked how much, how much. Uh, how much my money. Money. Like, what I ask? Yeah, what you asking like, for? Like, not what? Make not sure. Not even price-wise. Like, like, you I need... got to make sure that good gas is on the dresser, wherever. Money, though. Money, though. The gas. Right. You got to make sure my gas is, when I walk in, I got to see my gas. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see my pressure. <laughs> I got to walk to my pressure. Run to my pressure. And say, ah, yes, sir. <laughs> I gotta say, ah, yes, sir. Bro, I gotta say, ah, yes, sir. All right, now I ain't gonna lie, bro. It, it was it was rumors going around that you was whoa rumors. Whoa, it was rumors going around that you was laced. I put up my feet up on my my pants and say, "Call my car the road and say we're boogie with Ace." <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, Lace and Wood. I don't know. He can like this, bro. People I ain't gonna lie. I just, I got a stupid ass wing, bro. I smoke weed. I smoke, I smoke weed. I smoke weed. My first time popping the HP was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's my second home. That's my second home. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma is my second home. I go out there every time. I stay about five or six days. You hear me? I love it. They treat me like Lil Weezy, Boosie, Lil Uzi. <laughs> Shit, Fort Worth Toozy. They treat me like I... Nah, for real! <laughs> they treat me like that out there. I stay... When I go out there, I can't stay for one weekend. You ever seen the movie Dunks and Chicks in? Mm-mm. Oh, I went out of their head. You gotta be an Amy, baby, man. Who, who seen the movie Dunks and Chicks in the hurt? Oh, y'all ain't know 80 babies. But anyway. Yeah, nah. Don't chase in. Y'all go, y'all go check that out. Y'all gonna be like, Bezo, yeah, he a fool. But anyway, yeah, but anyway, it's like I say, Tulsa, Oklahoma is my second home, bro. I made my most money in shows in Tulsa, Oklahoma. When I go, I can go out there right now. And I'm need, I need about 100 condoms on me. They're going to try to rape me. <laughs> How much money you going to make? They're going to rape feel me. They're going to rape feel me. What the money looking so, like? So, so to clear the rumors up, you was never laced. Never laced. I was never laced, sir. It was rumors about my bro, little bro, Reed yeah, being laced. Like yeah. But my bro is, is 95%. The rest of that shit you can see in out of space. But never laced at all. You know what I'm saying? I got great brain power, brain control. And see, all I'm worried about is the bank rolls. Yeah. All I worry about see is the blue bank rolls come in. That's yeah. it. Huh? Blue bank roll. That light blue, blue bank roll. Yeah. That's it. To the right and to the left. All no, the way. Never likes it all, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I smoke that good gas. 
No, nah, for I sure. I popped some X holes, and she she and she got a big old booty. I'm gonna say Liz. Yeah, yeah. I love a chick with a big ass booty. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I love a chick with a big ass booty. Bro, so let me so so. I hear you not. So I hear you, bitch. What? Let me ask you this, bro. When when Thug Boss Nation kind of cooled off. What's that? When Thug Boss a Nation. Cool off. Y'all, y'all took a break from. from hey, you know music. what a cool off is? What's that? That's that shit they drink in the penitentiary. <laughs> a cool off. <laughs> huh? Lemon, fruit punch. I don't know the rest of them bitches. <laughs> but a cool off. <laughs> you drink, you only fuck with them when you go to the penitentiary. So nice, they never cooled off. Yeah. Nah, we ain't never cooled off. And said when I went to the penitentiary for two years. Hey, realistically, that's a question. Yes, sir, boss. <laughs> so. Young Nation take off. They signed to the row. I love my young niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh- what was, what was. I ain't gonna lie to you. My, my Young Nation niggas took off with the row. Get what? I was so A Wild Skits. One night, one night I was so A Wild Skits down in the city. I swear if I would have seen BB, Fame, or the row, I was gonna lose my fro. I was gonna lose my fro. You know why I said that? Why you say that? Because the police is gonna dunk me on that hoe. The police is gonna dunk me on that hoe. Cause I was so fucked up. You know, I, my nation is built off loyalty. The boss nation and, and your nation is built off loyalty. So at the end of the day, they made the right move because we was at a standstill. I had ran into a, a, a situation where I signed to that bullshit that deal. I don't take nothing away from them. Shout out to 909 Top 5. I take nothing away from them. But I ran into a bullshit ass deal. And they had to do what they had to do to keep the gang moving. So I was fucked up at first. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm talking about running around the city with my head cut off. So it was smoke at a point in time. Whoever I seen that was out of the prime time, whoever, <laughs> they was gonna end up on nightline. I was gonna try to rip a nigga shit out their spine. They not. Well, I'm glad God say. Listen, I swear to God, to I swear for God. It's, this is the night right here. Me, full of dizzy, went to the studio. I can't remember the club name. Went to the club first. I'm so fucked up about the situation. I'm outside of the club screaming. Where your next thing? Where the road at? I'm, I'm fucked up, man. I'm, it's loyalty with me. I feel like my young niggas crossed over on me. I'm fucked up. I gotta admit to you. I'm looking for them. If I see him, guess what? It's up there. But guess what? God didn't let it happen. And I'm glad he didn't. So I'm looking for him. I'm screaming. I'm in the front of the club. I'm looking for whoever prime time click your nation. I got 40 days with me. He's 6566. 270. He's gonna knock some out. He's gonna knock some out the six. So what exactly was you fucked up about though? Huh? I'm fucked up about. Loyalty. I feel like I, I gave you. He fucked me up with that one. I feel, I feel like. <laughs> Look, I feel like I was crossed over. I didn't gave you so much. And then you go to the row. And you try. Okay, he's 6263. Six, so you look at him like Debo. <laughs> But it's me, KB. You can't forget the ZO. <laughs> you can't forget the ZO. No, okay. Oh. And then a lot of people don't know. Hey, a lot of people don't know where ZO came from. Ooh. I take my shoes off in this bitch. Hey there. Look, ZO, KB. Key Bubby. I ain't say Key Busby. I said Key Bubby. Key Bubby. I like that. He bubby. Anyways, that's what they call me in high school, KB. So I took the K to the B. And as you can see, I added the Z to the O. That's on me. And then, I'm not from Oklahoma, but that's what they say on me. They say word. When you hear somebody say on me, that came from Oklahoma. <laughs> huh? That came from Oklahoma. You ever heard that word? On me. Yeah. That came from Oklahoma, bro. That's an Oklahoma word, originally. But anyways, Zoe come from, uh, 
Man, man, I put on for my hood. I swear to God, I put on for mine. You from Oak Cliff? What? Oh, where you from? <laughs> you what? <laughs> you made me run right about this motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. The what part of Dallas are you from, bro? Oh, Cliff heard you say that? Guess what? We have a whole new yeah, world. Where you from? We have a whole new world war. Where you from? It'd be a whole new world war four. Five, five, I see. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Where you from? He asked me a question. Crazy, bro. Hey, if it's Cliff, I swear for God. <laughs> say, I was in the, hey, I went there and I got my shit hit. I swear for God. If the Cliff heard, my bro, that's my bro. Don't fuck with him. If the clever bro said, where you from? <laughs> oh, Cliff? Boy, it'd be a whole battleship out there. What? It'd be a whole battleship out there. But anyways, <laughs> back to your question, bro. What part of Dallas are you from? BFL, Texas. Yeah. Guess what? Guess where I saw that, though? though? St. Charles Apartments. I thought BFL was in Oak Cliff. I stand up. <laughs> Where's BF, where BFL at, bro? It's another clip, bro. B hey, B I, hey, <laughs> hey, please, please. Hey, uh, this right. Hey, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please come down, please. <laughs> listen, my hood, at least. No, I'm talking about my hood, bro. Where, where, I go crazy, bitch. What? Where's it at? Bethel, Texas, Fordham, Sunnyvale. You hear me? Where's that at, though? Texas. Oakland, Texas. Fordham, Sunnyvale. You hear me? You draw that motherfucker me lead building. <laughs> you know, right, hey, you do all that lead building when Trevor Freddy said the bread building. You hear me? <laughs> oh, go, nigga, I'll make your bowl of hamburger helper, nigga, while you at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we grew up out of hamburger helper, nigga. For real. We came a long way from hamburger helper, nigga. Damn. <laughs> Bro, okay, so like, all right. <laughs> you coming back, like, you you, you went to we jail. What, what did you go to jail for initially? Oh, I do some push ups for that. Ah, right, just a push-up. Hey, you want a sandwich from Jaddy Mac? <laughs> hey, I like the quiz. Good man, you all right? Make sure it's got. <laughs> Listen, sir, I like that quiz. Guess what? Fucking with the wrong niggas. Fucking with the wrong people. I got fucked out. <laughs> okay, listen. I was hanging on the wrong people at the wrong time. You hear me? I ain't gonna lie, I like smooching off groupies. I'm a trap nigga. You hear me? I'm a real live trap nigga. They don't know that about you, dog. Tell them about it. What's the first case you said? Alligator. I'm a trap nigga, man. You hear me? I'm a real live trap nigga, bro. My first charge to have a cop was at, my first charge to have a cop was in Grand Prairie, Texas. Damn. We talking about what they know. From the mug picture. Are you talking about some kind of When you, when you, wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this nigga here, hey, this nigga here talking like some kind gonna pull up in the list. <laughs> Shout out to some kind. What's up? <laughs> All right, you, you lost me with that. What you talking about? This nigga here talking about some kind. <laughs> hey, they gonna lie. Shout out to some kind. We knew some kind when he was riding a, a drop top, uh, what? With the sun shining on your motherfucking necklace. The sun, the sun shining on the, the sun shining on the necklace. They be sweating, <laughs> huh? I swear to God, he shot my boy video right here. Bitches, no gun, man. Sean Connery had took off yet, but I gave him his respect. Real he shit. Yo, know, he was ready. He knew who we, he knew who we was. We knew who we was. He knew who we was already. Sean Kyle offered you a deal, KB. No, 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 no. He tried to come get me. Sean oh. Cotton shot my boy video. Okay, okay. He came to North yeah, Dallas. North Dallas, Texas. <laughs> oh yeah, more three easy. RP more three easy, but that belong not easy. RP more three easy, but that belong not easy. I was going to leave, but I miss, I miss this club. Look, all people are three easy, but they belong to not easy. So look, Sean Cotton came to the, uh, or, uh, he came to the, uh, North Dallas. He shot my boy Gunman video. Bitches love Gunman. He knew KB though. He knew, already knew I was. He riding the motherfucking me. Was it white? Was it white? Was He's it a white Camaro. White Camaro. With the top off that bitch. Oh, school. 
Ooh, did nobody know who that was? <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> we didn't, hey, the say cheese one smiling it. We're gonna be real. That motherfucker one smiling it. It had, a, it had a frown on it. He had a frown on the shit. But he's smiling now. I'm talking about what flawless grill. He fine. <laughs> Oh, it's flawless now, but listen, when I first met Sean Cotton, I, he, he wasn't smiling. I'm saying cheese wasn't smiling when I first met him. Shout out to him, though. Uh, I'm ready for the interview, too. I'm going to keep my shoes up like I got on Jimmy, too. <laughs> Let's go. Bro. What are we talking about now? I don't even know. Oh, you, he lost me. He lost me, bro. Where, where was I at? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Sean Cotton. Shout out to Sean Cotton. He ran it up. Oh, what did you go to jail for? What, what, your, your charge? What was it? I went to jail for it. I'm going to tell you. No, no, no. I'm so real. I'll pop a banana peel. Nigga, I'm so real. My top of a spill. And I'm offended. I can't carry one for real. All right, go ahead. I went to jail for smooching off. I like, I like to smooch off bad bitches. You feel me? So what did y'all do? What does that mean? I was trapping. I was trapping. And I was on my last strike for trapping. I'm a trapping motherfucker. You hear me? Huh? Trap? I'm a trapping motherfucker. But I ended up getting caught up in the wrong situation where I fuck with the wrong people. And they brought a, they brought a person that was underage around. You live and you learn. Mm. You live and you learn like an ever side bird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now you get out of jail, bro. I got out of jail. You, you making your return to the yeah, scene. Why, why can't I make scene? You make your return to the scene. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen or heard from KB. This is this is really like probably your first interview since since being out of jail or like for a while. I ain't I ain't seen no KB's old interview. You know what I'm saying? This is, the first interview ever. This is your first hey, interview. Hey, guess what? They fucked up. Really? We ain't gonna talk about it. No, we ain't gonna talk about it. Yeah. Talking about we just had an interview about two weeks ago. They were two skits. So we're going to see. They said they're going to bring it back. But hey, this is the first one. Yeah. This is going to do a million y'all. <laughs> I guarantee this is going to do a million y'all. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I guarantee this is going to do a million y'all. Just chill out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is crazy. So look. What, what, you, what you feel like your impact going to be coming back to the city, bro? Like coming back. Oh. If you look at them numbers right now, I need this right here. I, I boogie like a snail. That bitch got by 20K in two days right now. Go look at Fame Johnson. Fame little page right now, man. He just dropped some shit in the hell. Look, I ain't gonna lie. He dropped it on Instagram first. I'm like, what my bro doing? I went back on that bitch. He won't turn no more. I said, my bro, who gave me? He who gave me? Yeah. They didn't put that bitch on Facebook. Man, that bitch got down to 20K in two days. <laughs> I'm talking about like a bad bitch that work at Enemies. <laughs> what? Hey, so, like, the licensing for all that music for Thug Boss, like. Tell my name, some real name. Who, 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 where is, who owns that? Like, are you going to put Say, it back man, up on, please, like, bro. Apple Music? Please, baby. <laughs> bro, bro. You better try to turn this out. Talk about nice who own it. Man, it's like, I could dog it. <laughs> Talk about nice, man. It's a lot to come with that. You hear me? I swear to God, it do. And listen, Talk about nice, it came a long way, for real, for real. Like, I ain't gonna lie, we look at it, they look at us like a gang on the cool, you hear me? But we like to have fun at the party. We like to like, like we like to party and have fun until we see the sun. That's it. And if she got them honey buns, we know what it is. So we're gonna glaze out. Is 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 the music gonna be on Apple Music, bro? Like, or is it gonna get re-uploaded? Like this the songs it. only on this YouTube. This it, July 17th. This yeah. kiss it. It's my first mixtape. Yeah. This kiss it. That bitch gonna do the photo right here. <laughs> Let's just go to the full right here. July 17th. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. If that bitch don't do what it do, guess what? I ain't going to even see it. <laughs> but guess what? Let's get July 17th. Can we, uh, 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 November 4th. 
Hey, me and Run Doug got the same birthday. That's crazy, the motherfucker. Ain't it? it is crazy. Me and Lil Run had the same birthday. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? God bless us with the same birthday. How can you do that? That motherfucker love me like it ain't no tomorrow. I love him the same. Guess what? It is what it is. Number four, two headed monster. We dropping on our birthday. Two hundred months, two hundred months. No, we before me and Ron, riches and bitches. Oh my God! When I say that motherfucker so crazy, nation invades the USA. It's on the way. Mm. Boy, it's working. I'm working like a, a, a Mexican and a motherfucking me, a motherfucking me uh swap. <laughs> a motherfucking me. What they got them bitches? A Mexican bitches. What the kind of Mexican motherfucker they be at that motherfucker they be shopping all day? Yeah. A Mexican bitch. Well, yeah, that is. Hey, man, this motherfucker, I'm fool. It kind of hell. Uh, what is what is earn? How how can you earn your geekmanship? Oh my god, Where my blood at? Oh, I just found some geekmanship. This first thing first. The rest is right. Mm. Okay, that bitch got 500k, don't it? Okay. Hey, uh, give me some video. That bitch got about 700k. Get what? Well, how can you earn your give me You earn your me shit by signing the top 5909, <laughs> going to Red River Mall. <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> you mother. Sorry, let me put my motherfucking pen down. Hold on, let me sit down and put my pen down. Down, down. You know you give me shit by? Going to Porsche Ball. Huh? You get you a black and gray striped shirt. Oh, you drop your shag on your shit. You get your black gray striped shirt. You go to Porsche Mall. You holler at that motherfucker. What's that motherfucker name? James? James Shepard. James Shepard. Who James Shepard had the money over there? He had the CDs and he's the one that had the CDs and the Redbird Mile. Where you go? <laughs> huh? You go up, down, stir, what kind of CD you want? He had it. You go jail, you go to you go to the Redbird Mile, get your black and gray shirt, and you go out, you go pick up BB to find at Dudley High School. The school clothes on, you hear me? Uniform. Uniform Swizer. <laughs> I said James! I can't do a video unless you cash out on some gear. Yeah, I gotta have some gear, bro. I gotta have some gear, bro. Go pick up the bros. But I need a new shirt, bro. I need a new shirt. I can't do no video without a new shirt. We get the new shirt. We go pick up Be Reading Fine. We like the OG Hall of Flame and the Game Ship is a history. Okay, so how do you earn it? They asked me for somebody who ain't true. How do you? How do I get? I do, yeah. How do I earn your geek? You're your geek shit by getting fucking geeked all motherfucking day. Until you, hey, you're your geek shit by getting geeked all day to the following year, month of May. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. Now, yeah, let me ask this. That's how you earn it. Yeah. What what drugs do you do? Oh, I love that question right there. You know what? By you asking that question right there, you made a young man walk out the building. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> one man stayed in, one man left out. So, me, well, first thing, R.P. Mothrizzi. Mothrizzi said he was a sober man, didn't he? So, oh, hold on. It's been a long time. Okay. Okay. Okay, he might be sober. Okay. I smoke gas. Oh, I smell gas. <laughs> huh? Okay, what is they know I smell gas. I pop them eggs on and show my swag ass. And I drink that alcohol blast. And get what? When you wake up, when you wake up, you got a hit mood like that white guy with that fucking green mask. <laughs> the mask? <laughs> yeah, I do this shit. Bro, I'm still trying to eat. I still do this shit, bro, bro. You know this shit. When you, when you met me, you knew I did this shit, nigga. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, dog. Real shit. Yeah. Hey, where my boy at? Where my bro at? Go check on my bro. He has to look like a scarecrow. 
Hey, now. Nah. Hey, do you feel like do you feel like Dallas got gatekeepers? Woo! Hell yeah. Gatekeepers? Yeah. Gatekeepers. They know where the real sauce comes from. Tell me them guys that they, they really hate sleepers or what? Hate hmm. sleepers? Huh? Hmm. No, what's the real? What that shit, what's it they be called? It's an inside party. Hate sleepers. <laughs> Why you say that? Huh? Listen. It's time to wake up, City. It's time to wake up, Dallas. King of the motherfucker me, SWI is home, man. You know, I salute everybody that been taking care of business around my city, dog. I swear to God, dude. I'm well, talking about well, for Why do you feel like the I don't even know what that is. Meaning people who, the people who's keeping you, or the certain people, people that's gatekeepers. That's keeping, that's keeping you from where you getting, you gotta get. You know why I don't know what that is? Because I don't, I don't, ne- I never mind it. I never mind type shit like that. I never mind negativity. A negative. I, I never mind the bullshit. I'm all about this right here. If I can pick it up, oh, I can pick it up. It's me. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm me right there. I swear to God. Nah, for real. I swear to God. Now, bro, people watching this might might think you high as hell right now. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey, they, hey, I swear to God, whoever watching this hoe, they know I get geeked on the floor. They know I do a push up. They know I do a push up. Uh, come back up. Get my front teeth and call my bro. They know I got a big booty bitch somewhere. That's way don't so. They know I got a hundred racks on the road. I'm finna go pick up on the show. Ooh, good vibes. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. That's the, I swear that's the way to go. <laughs> now, bro. Appreciate it, bro, bro. <laughs> That's why I got bros for. Shout out to Slow Mo, too. Hey, nah, bro. Shout out to White Boy Slow Mo. He made that Mo 3 uh, member. Damn. Oh, I'm so deep with this shit. What you think Mo 3 influence was on the city of Dallas? Man, Mo 3 was a bad motherfucker. You hear me? Yeah. And it, it took me to. I'm sorry to point at you. It took me to realize when he left and did and gone how dangerous he was. But guess what? He a dangerous motherfucker. But guess what? Huh? Oh, what's that in my way? That's a microphone. I love them. I love them. I'm going to sit my head down then. Oh, three a dangerous motherfucker. You hear me? I swear that guy is a dangerous individual. But guess what? He not fucking with Key Busby. Mm-hmm. He not fucking with Key Busby. <laughs> I put it on my eighty dog. R.I.P. Muggsy. <laughs> hey, R.I.P. Muggsy. Hey, R.I.P. Hey, Mo Three. I okay. fuck with you, brother. You Mo Three, I fuck with you, brother. Mo Three, I fuck with you, brother. I swear to God, I do. Mo Three, I fuck with you, brother. But get what? You not fucking with Key. I love you, there, boy. I don't even know you. I love you, there. It's not fuck with Key. Guess what? R.P. Kashif. Golly, dude. R.P. Kashif. Sheesh. R.P. Kashif. They be like, damn, what's Kashif? I never gone on with my BJ Heard. I'm going to keep it brief. Nah. He love my BJ Heard. I'm going to keep it brief. If, if somebody wants to book you for a show, you Ooh. know what I'm saying? Somebody want to get a feature. Shut up, boy. Let them know where, where they need to follow and who they need to contact. If you want to book Key for a show, I love that, bro. I love you, baby. Okay, look. If you want to book key for a show, we're going to do it like this. This kid's on the way July 17. I'm going to be on the Twitch. Tap his Instagram. Instagram, KBZO, Swayzerific. KBZO, S-W-A-J-J-U-R, R-I-F-F-I-C. KBZO, Swayzerific. And you can get at me at John Waller. Dot com. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I fucked up John, John Wilder, Gmail, uh, dot com. All right, now, I, I got to ask you this, bro. Why are you on an Android and not iPhone? Ooh, I love them kinds of questions. Listen to this. I've been turned down by a couple of bad babes that got iPhones. They said, you got a Drizzy. Yeah. You must know Twizzy. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't no Twizzy, baby. 
Okay, what? Well, like I said, we keep it busy. But anyway, Android versus Afizi. I need the Afizi. <laughs> I need the Afizi. No, you can't. Ain't no way you can see her say. No, ain't no way you can see her say Android. She know Afizi. I kick my legs up to they dizzy. You hear me? But anyways, you right. What's that? You got an Android instead of an iPhone. I have an Android because I have an iPhone because that's the type of shit I could know. I need to give me an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of shit I could know. For real. That's the type of shit I could know. Listen, but I've been around bros that love iPhones, so I could have been and had an iPhone. But I'd rather, I'd rather eat an ice cream cone. Yeah. I'd rather eat an ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather eat an ice cream cone. Oh, shit. For real. Oh, shit. All right, man. Tell the people where they can follow and find you at. Hey, follow me at fucking me. KB's on Swayzerific on Facebook, to be specific. Uh, on Instagram, KB's on Swayzerific. On uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, KB's on Blast. B to the motherfucking L to the motherfucking A to the S to the T. Two to the one to the four. Ooh, them niggas can't see me. KB's on Blast 214 for the snap. And uh, Twitter Blast is D, real, K to the B to the Z to the O. Man, if you don't get that goddamn this kissy, you must know Mike the Frog. Damn. You must know Mike the Frog. Okay, here we go. No, here we go. Next invasion you would say on the way. I swore for God. Excuse me, God, say God in the vein, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me, God, say God in the vein. What's that, fool? I'm sticking to the script, but look. Right, I definitely gotta do a movie. I'm hey, I'm sticking to the script. Hey, listen, listen, bro. I'm sticking to the script like the motherfucking me. I'm sticking to the script like the kick on Luke Kane, nigga. I'm sticking to the script like the kick on Luke Kane. What are you gonna find? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Buffalo Ball. Hey, Buffalo Ball in the streets. Buffalo Ball video. Me, Foodie D. Ooh, a lot. Dub D. Me, Dub D. Who was that? Run, motherfucking me, Dungeon. And Who Black. What YouTube channel? Black B. Y'all gonna look this up. That bitch got about 60K and about. Ooh, wee. Buffalo Ball, how got about 60K? And about like, motherfucking me three months. So yeah, TBN Nation, yeah, we're here to stay. Yeah. Hey, look out for my boy Oban and Double O. You know what I mean? Look out for Double O, Oban. Y'all looking for 99. Hey, 99 for the COVID, that 99 off. Ah, we don't play this shit soft at all. Nah, for real. Tiger Woods might want to play golf. We're going to do that. <laughs> but, anyways, look. Nation Invasion, USA on the way. This kids on the way. Reaches the Beaches on the way. Uh, shout out to everybody in the fucking nation. Shout out to Smooth McGrew. Said. Said B, shout out to motherfucking me, R.I.P. Willie B, R.I.P. motherfucking me, uh, uh, Kashif. It was beef at first, Kashif, but you knew Jay Hurry loved that beef. Anyway, uh, nigga, for real, this shit. Bro, come on. I swear to God, shout out to my hood, BFL. Hey, shout out to my boys right here for having me on the motherfucking me set. You hear me? I swear for legit. Shout out to my boy for having me on the set. We're gonna shout that out. My boy, uh, motherfucker, me. You know who you is. I ain't gotta say no name. Y'all know what set this is. That is global. Man, shout out to my whole motherfucker, me, steps out of the family, noble, nigga. That is global, we noble. Mobile state of mind. Mobile state of mind, man. We global now, folks. Nation. We went through a lot, but we here, baby. KB's all back. Boogie. Signing off. Dig a boogie out, dig a boogie out your snot. Map. <laughs>